I tried to write as many jokes as I could in under an hour. Here's what I came up with. Hey, I found that camouflage outlet you lost in the woods. Then throw it out, it doesn't work. Here's the deal. You get a million dollars, but all your condiments disappear, and you can only talk about them in one-syllable nicknames. There's no catch. Did you slightly change the color of each clip so people could tell when one joke ends and the next one begins? I did, Tint. Stop lying, you did. Is anybody here illiterate? My son is illiterate with numbers. He doesn't count. That's right, he doesn't. The stopwatch was named like the guy who made it yelled out to get everyone's attention, then tried to play it off as if that was the name of the invention. Hey man, what's a red herring? You're asking me what a red herring is? Go read the Bible, then come back to me. It's a letter from the future. I can't read this handwriting. In fact, it's not even handwriting, it's hand will be written. Have you ever looked at a hole puncher and thought, if everything was made of paper, this would be a basketball factory? This one's not even a joke, it's just an observation. Erwin Schrodinger. Wanted dead, dead and a lot. I was named after a four letter question. I'm sorry, what? It's actually when, and don't apologize, it's not your fault. The P in pterodactyl is silent, but if you hire a guy without a mouth to read your mail, every letter is silent. You heard about that movie that's coming out about the marketing team that went missing? No? Exactly, it's a very immersive experience. Yeah, there's something wrong with my TV. Well, how so? It's not turning on. But, but, it's, but it's already on. What, what do you mean? been on it always will be on you can never truly turn a tv off you can only set it to the fake reflection channel that's where we are we're actors for the fake reflection channel so when will the channel be changed again the channel hasn't been changed in a long long time look at the dust that's been collected in front of the tv the owner's been gone for a while is he dead maybe but i like to think he's just doing something better with his time maybe a practicing guitar or writing a story i like to think that he discovered that the joy of creating is far greater than the joy of consuming Man, fuck this artsy shit, I'm watching Jeopardy. I just tried to write as many jokes as I could in under an hour again. This is what I came up with. One of my friends said my obsession with puns and wordplay might be a sign of autism. But the only autism I know is when I see someone that I recognize their face but not their name, and it's also in Old English. Because I'm like, ah, tis him. This is a song I wrote about the guy who reads the wrong part of the lyrics. Verse one. Where did you put the cushion? How'd you know the weed was in the cushion? Search his cushion. This invention is blowing up big, I finally made it, ma. Well, I guess I didn't make it, but that- Got a new whip. You have your license? No, as in work in progress. We're, we're still in the editor. I hate context clues. Wait, what were we talking about again? Based on your first sentence, I'm gonna go with context clues. See, it's stupid. My friend was really sad because his sculpture didn't look right with, like, the lighting in his room. So I tried to shed light on it, and it still looked bad. It's Confused Voice Man! Get him! Confused Voice Man? Actually, hold on. It might not be. Might not be? Oh, no, it definitely is. I love animal videos. Did you see that funny alpaca clip? It's alpaca clip, not alpaca clip. A backa clip would be this. It's Confused Voice Man, get him! Confused Voice Man? Actually, hold on, it might not be. Might not be? Oh no, it definitely is! I call this one, Mosquitoes at an Auction. So, if you keep hearing vegetables in everyday speech, call Dr. Lee Flower. That's right, call Lee Flower. Be careful what you research. One time I went down this teleportation rabbit hole, it led me to the entrance of the teleportation rabbit hole. I wanted to do a joke about retrieving heavy objects from the bottom of a pool. I mean, it seemed pretty simple, but I couldn't come up with it. I feel like all these are just carried by puns and wordplay. I, I gotta do something different, like a theater adaptation of the dictionary. Fuck, that's literally wordplay. So, you're the surgeon. Tell us why you do what you do. For money. And you're the patient. Tell us what the surgery is for. For money. A lot of jokes about space work a little too well. I feel like the people that come up with the names for these sort of things, they, they plan it. I'm not really into photography, but I've always sort of appreciated the sort of misleading pics. For example, like, take a look at- Back in high school, there was this girl in my band class that was named Claire, and we used to chase her around with fishing nets. She had a clarinet, but we had Claire in net. Call me a guy who can identify different shades of green. Cause that was all of- hmm. Do you ever feel like the corporate world is run by horrible entities that learn how someone behaves by hearing their voice so that they can become an identical copy of them and replace them? Well, that's exactly how I felt before I started the They Aren't Real Hotline. Before the company, I thought that the rich and powerful were no longer real people. But after the company, not only did he realize, I mean, I realized that this was not true, but I'm more successful than I've ever been in my life. Call today. No, you can't text. You have to call. E emails won't work. It. You need to call the number. Mail? I'm not bisexual. I don't do mail. You, you need to call. It won't work unless we hear your voice. Stupid, invisible, bouncy ball. <laughs> You need to open the door, sir. Sir, can you please open the door? It's time to take your medication. You ever think, what if there was a sitcom that took place in a mental asylum, but the patients weren't actually insane, they could just hear the laugh tracks? Why are they called straight jackets? Straight jacket sounds more like what I do on a lonely Saturday night. <laughs> there it is again, I hear it! 
John, would you give it up? I'm not lying, I swear. If you're not lying, then why does this only happen when someone's around? You're just doing this for attention. I I'm not even the only one who hears it. Exactly, even your hallucinations are unoriginal. <laughs> did you hear it? I think I did. Sounds like Nurse Darla coming around with the medication cart. I'm not crazy. Shh, she's coming. She's definitely into me. If you think she's into you, you might need some of those pills too. It's back, I hear it again. Something's off with the captions. What do you mean? They're not displaying the right stuff. Oh yeah. It's yours too. That's weird. Sh should we call somebody? Who are we gonna call, the caption captain? Oh wait, it's fixed now. Wait, never mind. What if they're backwards? That would explain why they lined up for a second. That must have been the middle. But then why was the first caption, don't ask about the murders? Sorry, I have to kill you. You're asking too many questions. Any last words? Don't ask about the murders. Why do you pace around? Pace around so much. Why do you pace around so much when you're thinking? Because I'm paranoid about my conversations accidentally being recorded. How do you accidentally record something? Well, do you know how record works? There's this little stylus that scrapes these etchings into a disc, and then when the needle goes over these etchings, it vibrates and makes the sound. And how could that happen accidentally? Oh, I could have a rock on my shoe that scrapes something into the floor. I don't know, man. The odds of that are pretty low. Plus, you need something to act as the needle. And what kind of object do you just scrape along the floor? Yeah, I guess you're right. I probably don't need to be worried about this. Well, this is interesting. You think I'm interesting? No, I mean this video. Yeah, they really flipped this video on its head. Nice one. No, really, is this whole upside down thing really necessary? That's what I was talking about. This video is interesting because it's an ambigram. What's that? So then that's the same upside down. But you're the one who's upside down. We both are, depending on which perspective you watch the video from. But I just said you're the one who's upside down. Shouldn't that ruin it? No, because if you are the one who's upside down, I'd look upside down from your perspective, so the line still works both ways. Is this also one of those videos where it loops back to the beginning? Depends. Do you remember what your first line was? I think. Do you remember yours? Time. If you have a scene with a clock, and you're not paying attention to the continuity, it could give the cutaway. I've been thinking about the Grim Reaper's diet lately. What do you mean? Ah, oh, I just wonder what the repeats. Ah, oh, I just wonder what the repeats. Ah, oh, I just wonder what the repeats. Probably a lot of junk food. Yeah, but I heard he's trying to cut back. Some of my writers have been cutting ties with people online. But I mean, it's none of my business who my writers block. I, I really don't know where to go from here. This happens all the time. Here's a cool idea. You know how some things are just hard to explain and tell to people? What if there was a switch? You press that and everything is inverted. And whatever you convince someone something when the switch is inverted, they'll believe the opposite of whatever you convince them when you uninvert it. So like a lawyer could activate the switch. Then if he could convince everyone that this client is guilty, they'll believe he's innocent when he switches it back. You could also make something like super heavy and emotional where someone has to press the switch to tell someone they love them because they don't have it in them to actually tell them that they don't. But anyways, yeah. This video is really bad because rather than actually using the idea for something cool, I just listed off a bunch of ways that you could do it, which is kind of lazy. You should not like and share this video because it doesn't deserve it. Did it work? Hello, aliens. If you're seeing this, then our plan worked. Before now, we are only able to communicate through radio signals, but I've come up with a solution that lets us talk visually. Essentially, we've laid out every frame of a video as a photo across the equator, then radioed you a message to use a telescope. The rotation of the Earth will make these images into a large zoetrope, which will display a video. The only problem is, the Earth has oceans, and once we reach those oceans... Oh, an island! Hey, I'm back! I wanted to say one more thing. The Earth is round, so these messages can only be so long before the... 